Okay, so. Like, how beautiful is this? Peace and love, creatives. Uh, recently, I failed my no buy um, art supplies uh, for the year. And we're not going to go into that because it is what it is. But I am going to swatch one of the items that I have purchased in my failure. I'm so sad. Really, I am. Okay, we're going to swatch now. And I already set up a couple of pages of different things that I want to swatch. Actually, before I start, all right, this is an Arteza um, sketchbook that I plan to use as a travel log. As you can see, I've, I've already like done a couple of things in uh, like sketches in it, but um, it's an Arteza sketchbook. It holds watercolor very nice. I actually used this once upon a time to do my Inktober and it held up so magnificently well that I figured it's a nice size to um, travel with. It is about one, uh, five and a half ish and eight and a half ish. You like that? I measure very well. So um, I think this would be a nice little addition to travel with. Not so sure about this being that it's like super long, almost 12 inches. So, But that's okay because these are, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, these are the Derwent Ink Tents Studio Pan Set. And I got the 24 set and I'm super excited because I like the sticks, but I'm not crazy crazy about the actual sticks and I'm hoping that what I'm not crazy about with the sticks is fixed in the pan set form so we shall see now with Derwent um you can like let's say that there's a couple of colors that I would like to take with me but I don't want to take this big pen I can always take out just a little section put it in a smaller travel set that Derwent makes and mosey on to wherever I want to go. Because I plan on going out and doing a lot of plein air painting. And these intents are like the perfect background um, piece uh, colors to, to put only because, well, mainly because you can um, put the color down and it's going to stay. It's not going to get relifted if you put other colors on top of it. So I think that's cool. Um, it comes with a small little water brush that I will fill so that we can swatch. I'm actually gonna activate them now. I'm just gonna put a little drop of water on them, get them ready to go. We'll see in real time just how long it takes for them to activate. Let's get a enough like a nice size dot on each pan all right and what i'm gonna do is actually i need a clip because i think i'm gonna have to hold it down because i'm going to the back of the book to do it uh, can we see everything yes oh i don't think i need a clip I think it's gonna be good so what I did was I kind of like made little squares and then cut them in half and turned them into little triangles and I'm going to swatch them like that why because I think it's cute now I don't need to know how each color is gonna look like um like 100% so this is just for fun like funsies swatching and when I um, travel with this, if there's a color in here that I might want to take with me to um, in an, another pan set, I can always refer to this and um, pack it up accordingly. And now I can also take just one pan out. I don't have to take um, the whole entire um, set of it. I can take one pan out. Oh my gosh, look, they're already... Um, 
activated. Oopsie. Okay. Okay. There we go. I could just take one pan out and put it into the set that I want to travel with. Now, the only thing is, I don't think the names are on each individual pan. Let's find out. I can't. There we go. Now, they're loose in here, and that happens a lot with, um, with Derwent. Oh, look, there's a little opening. I could have just checked like that, which is a good thing because I can actually eventually just flip it over, write the names where I can see it, and if, you know, if I'm looking for a specific color, I can just look on the bottom and make sure that I'm not putting the wrong pan set in the wrong um, case when I'm done and I want to put everything back. So here we go. Let's get the color over here, like the names of the colors over here. All right, so right now this is Sherbert Lemon. Now to clean this brush off, what I usually do is I, I kind of like get it really saturated and then just do a little swirlies on my cloth, not pushing it down too hard, but just enough so that I'm scrubbing it off. Okay, now this one is Sun Yellow. It's moved. Oh, you know what? These don't really ever want to post and today is no different. No posting it does not stay. It's evil. Okay, next is Mango. A little sturdy a little bit more sturdy okay this one is bright orange so okay so next is the cherry And you can, like, these get, oh my goodness, you just, you get them ready and they are, whew, like, that's a lot of, um, a lot of paint. Like, a little goes a long way. This is going to be um, very interesting to use. I don't know if I would want, honestly, to use a, oh, I went off the line a little bit. I don't know if I would want to use a water brush always, but I do have travel paint brushes that I enjoy using. Um, these are one of them. And they, you know, come in this little case. And it's cute and it works really good. And it cover, it'll, that one has three different sizes and um, I think it'll work well for um, my travel needs. Let's do poppy red now. My my issue with the uh, the um, the stick set was honestly that they were grainy. When I used them, they were very grainy. So I don't know if this is going to be the same thing. All right, we just did poppy red. Let's do fuchsia. So we're going to do dark plum. Okay, next is a violet. That's the only actual um, inks that I've used on this particular um, sketchbook or uh, the PH Martins. I've used Posca pens on this. 
I've unfortunately used markers on this. Now it, it handles the markers well, but it will it will gulp the alcohol that's in the marker because of the kind of paper that it is. So I don't recommend you using alcohol markers on this paper. If that is your primary use, I would not get this sketchbook. And this this is one of the few sketchbooks that I have purchased multiple times. Just FYI, because you know I like making my own sketchbooks. But this one I will buy. There, I don't, I've never found this kind of paper in the wild that I can make my own sketchbook with it. So definitely, um, I like this sketchbook a lot. All right, so we're going into navy blue now. So now we're gonna do mid ultramarine. I'm gonna put a little bit of water there because it's a little dry looking. Next is bright blue, and that is the last one for the top row, and then I'm gonna go on the bottom row and do, ooh, bright blue. All right, so for the top row, we have sherbet lemon, sun yellow, mango, bright orange, cherry, right? Sherbet lemon, sun yellow, mango, bright orange, cherry, poppy red, fuchsia, dark plum, violet, navy blue, ultramarine, bright blue. The only one I'm not a fan on, of, honestly, is ultramarine. We're getting turquoise right now. Ready? All right, here we go. Don't fail me, turquoise. All right, now we're gonna go right here. Should I flip it? Nope, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna be careful. She says. Color is teal green, and hopefully I can get a better swatch than I just did with the turquoise because I kind of like fudged it up really big time. Do plan on um, outlining it with a liner. So maybe I don't need to be fixed like so you know racing green is next oh no it's bleeding in oh that's good to know though um i'm gonna take some water I'm just gonna kind of like put it there and then I'm gonna just see what it do so there's a little bit of blooming when I do that just want to see what that's a nice green that is some that is nice for some like um shading of leaves in a dark forest And it's, it's definitely bleeding. Let me just dab it a little bit. There we go. I need to lower my saturation. Did I clean it? No, I did not. Okay, now we're gonna go with Ionian green. Okay, next is hookers green. Now 
Next is the kiwi. Next is Burnt Yellow Ochre, which I really do like this color. Is Red Oxide. That looks really pretty. if I don't know let me see if I turn on the light I don't know if you can see like this the unevenness but if I lighten it up and don't put it in on as heavy I don't think I will get that you know what I mean especially if I use like a larger paintbrush to achieve a cover on a paper on a, a painting or illustration all right, next we're going to use, um, what are we on? Natural brown? Yeah. Next is oh, my favorite, Payne's Gray, right? <gasps> no, what did I do? Oh, no, 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 yes, Payne's Gray. India black, right? India ink black. And I'm going to go over the racing green to see just how white or ink tense white is. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna come back. You know what, I'm gonna swatch it anyway here just because I have an open spot for it, and why not? Okay. I like it. I think this is great. I think I, um, I'm i gonna enjoy these very much. And the colors are really pretty. And this sketchbook is gonna get some shine. Not just sunshine. <laughs> Off camera, I used my Faber-Castell soft brush pen to line it and also to write a uh, Derwent Inktense paint, paint pen set. I also um, wrote the names with it, but I used my um, central pen for that. I like them. It looks good. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay, let's go plein air paint. around me right now there are cars on the other side 
we don't need to worry about that. Like, it's nice. Okay, I've taken a break and I've decided to focus in on this area right here. I'm setting myself up. I'm gonna stand up and show you. I'm setting myself up over here and I'm gonna take all my stuff out. So I have a jar to hold my water. I have water to clean my palette. Well, to clean, you know, to clean stuff. My sketchbook. And I need two pants for this. And then I have my pencil case with all the stuff that I'm going to use. So I'm going to move that behind me. Actually, I'll leave it right there. Okay, so I have my water set up. I might use this as another palette if I need it. And I'm going to get to painting. I'm going to set this up. Well, I hope you guys had a fun time uh, doing this plein air painting. I did not sign it because it wasn't like completely dry. Now it's completely dry. I really like the effect. It's very, um, I don't know. I like the way it came out. Um, I'd like to do this again and maybe have a little bit more time to just sit and, and relax. But um, this was really fun. I can't wait to continue doing this. I uh, closed, I was moving the book 
and it closed on my painting. I'm just glad it didn't get ruined, you know? Uh, thank you guys for joining me on my first ever plein air painting excursion. And hopefully we have many more. Peace and love, guys.